This is Story Recapped. Today, I'm going to explain a drama, fantasy, and horror film called Gaia. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Deep in the Sitsukama Forest, Gabby and Winston paddle along the river while navigating a drone to record the forest surroundings. Gabby's drone gets far into the woods and comes upon a mysterious man before losing connection with Gabby's controller. Gabby wants to go into the forest to search for her drone, but Winston warns her that people tend to disappear there, but Gabby insists not to leave their trash there, so Winston lets her off their boat. While Gabby searches for the drone, two forest people have already taken her item, placed mud on one of their stationary camera's lenses, and set up traps around the area. Meanwhile, Winston retrieves the memory card from another stationary camera when he hears something from a distance. He also notices the caked mud blocking the camera's lens. The forest people continue traversing in the woods, collecting larvae in a mushroom that produces spores mixing in the wind. A plastic bag gets carried by the wind, and one of the men retrieves it. After searching for a while, Gabby tries to contact Winston, but he left his phone on their boat. Gabby hears strange growl sounds, so she hurries away, sensing danger. She triggers the trap set up by the forest people, which stabs her foot. She tries to contact Winston again, but there's no response. Something moves in the distance, so Gabby forces the stick on her foot out to escape. Winston hears her cries of pain from afar, so he hurries back on the boat. While getting on, he accidentally drops a radio into the water, damaging it. Gabby squeals as she pulls the stick out of her foot and then struggles to get back on her feet. As the sun sets, something glows red in the forest. Winston searches for Gabby in the dark while Gabby finds the red light and heads towards it. Winston accidentally drops into a swamp and spots someone hiding in the forest. He moves towards the person, thinking that it's Gabby. Meanwhile, Gabby finds a cabin and knocks on the door. When no one answers, she enters and rests on the blanket. She carefully removes her boot and sock to bandage up her wound. At the same time, Winston finally climbs out of the swamp but is bothered by strange sounds in the dark. He hides behind a tree, but the screeching sound grows, so he runs. In the cabin, Gabby coughs up a strange object. She wakes up from the dream just as the forest people arrive in their cabin. Immediately, they aim their weapons and interrogate the woman. Upon seeing her injured foot, they figured that she triggered their trap. Outside, Winston follows a strange noise nearby. Carefully, he shines a flashlight in the direction and finds a gruesome humanoid creature, and he runs out of fright. The forest people introduce themselves as Barand and his son, Stefan. Barand helps clean Gabby's wound while Stefan prepares their meal. The creature chases after Winston in the forest. After losing his jacket in the woods, Winston trips and get a closer look at the creature. He abandons his flashlight and runs. Winston hides behind a tree, not noticing the roots that slowly creep up to him until it finally reaches into his head. Barand makes a salve to heal Gabby's wound in the morning while she sleeps. While Stefan bandages up her foot, he becomes curious about the woman before him. When Gabby wakes up, she finds the lichen sprouting out of her arm. She desperately pulls him out, only to wake up from the nightmare and sees nothing growing on her arm. While Baron and Stefan hunt in the woods, Gabby tries to contact Winston again. After a few tries, Winston finally responds. But, before he can say where he is, Gabby hears a squeal, and Winston screams before the connection is broken. Gabby starts a fire in the cabin to signal Winston. While the father and son prepare their kill in the woods, Gabby notices a loose floorboard in the cabin, leading her to discover old items and a photo of a woman underneath. When she hears Barand coming, Gabby quickly places back the floorboards. Barand quickly douses the fire with water, warning Gabby about starting a fire in daylight. Gabby argues that Winston is looking for her, so Barand promises that they'll take her back to the village tomorrow. At night, Gabby tries to contact Winston again, but to no avail. Gabby asks about Stefan's mother, and Barand explains that she died of bone cancer 13 years ago. Before coming to the forest, Barand was a plant pathologist while his wife Lily was a chemical engineer. After the doctors failed to cure Lily, she has to be taken back to the forest where she and Baron spent their honeymoon and conceived Stefan. When they returned, Baron met whom he calls God. Stefan gives Gabby a handmade necklace, something to remember them by when she leaves. Meanwhile, Winston's body is covered in spores and mushrooms, seemingly uniting with nature. While Gabby is asleep, a root creeps up from the floorboards, slowly reaching to her. Suddenly, Baron puts a hand over her mouth, warning her to be quiet. Something has found their cabin and is trying to get it. Stefan holds his bow and arrow to where the sound is, while Baron tells Gabby to stay against the walls in case it gets inside since the creature is blind. A root starts growing close to Gabby, and she screams. Baron slices the root, and it emits spores, so he covers his mouth and nose from it. Finally, the creature barges in, and Stefan hits it with an arrow, so it retreats. Another creature charges in, tackling Baron to the floor. Gabby lets out a gasp, leading the creature towards her. Gabby and Stefan stab the creature, spraying Gabby with its blood. Baron hits it with a club, driving it out of their cabin, and as soon as it's gone, 
Stefan removes Gabby's clothes and cleans the blood from her. Later, Berend explains that the fungus infects humans, turning them into the creature they fought. He claims that the largest living organism lives underneath the cabin, and it continues to grow until it's ready to spread. That is what Berend calls God. In the morning, Gabby dreams about being in the forest when something grows inside her neck. She wakes up and finds Stefan watching her, calling her pretty. Uplifted, Gabby takes a selfie with Stefan, making him curious about the device. She shows him more pictures from her phone, piquing his curiosity further. When he sees a photo of Gabby posing in front of a large vehicle, Stefan calls the vehicle a monster. Suddenly, Baron snatches the phone from his son's hands and throws it against the wall. Yelling about the devilish devices, stunned, Gabby can't do anything but watch the men leave. While the two hunt in the forest, Gabby picks up the parts of her phone, hoping to fix it. And during this, she finds Baron's journal. He compares humanity to monkeys in captivity, who hoard limited resources and use violence to assert hierarchies. While she's reading his journal, Baron leaves an offering to a great tree and bows before it. When he gets up, spores come out from the trunk where mushrooms grow from inside. Slowly, the meat he offered rots. Baron pours animal blood inside the trunk, and more mushrooms suddenly grow. The man collects the mushrooms and eats one, then feeds Stefan the other. When they return to the cabin, Baron chuckles upon seeing Gabby read his journal. Gabby looks down at her arm and sees fungus growing from under her skin. When Baron tells Gabby to leave, Stefan gets infuriated and walks out. Gabby starts packing her things when she hears the father and son arguing outside. Stefan hurries back inside and rummages through their things looking for something. Gabby tries to calm him down and he licks her infected arm before hugging her. Gabby asks Baron to let her take his son back to the village with her, and Baron simply scoffs. As Baron leads her out of the forest, she questions why they live there and why they don't get infected. Baron, however, cryptically tells her that they already are. Gabby finds Winston's flashlight on their way, so she searches for him despite Baron warning her about the area. Baron follows Gabby as she heads down. She retrieves a memory card from one of their cameras in the woods before finding Winston, whose body is growing fungi and mushrooms. Gabby mourns for him, but finds that he's still alive. Winston begs her to kill him, but Gabby insists that she can still save him. Baron aims an arrow at him, but Gabby refuses to let him kill her friend. Instead, Baron sets an arrow in front of Winston, who uses it to impale himself. Gabby's cries attract the creatures nearby, so she and Baron run back to the cabin. At night, Gabby dreams about the roots growing from inside her ear. When she wakes up, she sees lichen growing on her thigh. Knowing that he has a cure, Gabby begs Baron to heal her, but he leaves instead. Stefan explains that his father went out to pray. Gabby then asks him about his mother, making him wonder about the concept of love. He then reveals that his mother still lives in the forest. Gabby then tells Stefan about the world outside, what job he could do, and how he could meet other girls. Stefan laments that they will all die, as his father claims. Baron barges inside, ending their tender moment. The following day, Baron feeds Stefan another mushroom from the tree while Gabby finds more lichens growing on her thigh. Stefan hurries back to the cabin then kisses Gabby, transferring the mushroom Baron gave him to her mouth. He instructs her to eat it just before Baron enters the cabin. Baron asks her if she's ready, but seeing that the lichens on her leg are shrinking, Gabby decides to stay. Later, Stefan teaches Gabby how to shoot an arrow. He then takes her to see his mother, who's been transformed into a tree. Her wedding ring is still on one of the tree's branches. When they return to the cabin, Baron looks concerned over his son's friendliness with Gabby. Gabby then places the memory card she took from the camera into her phone to view the files. During this, Gabby criticizes Baron's negative outlook on humanity. But Baron argues that human civilization is merely a declaration of war against nature. From the images, Gabby sees photos of the creatures. Baron continues to rant about humanity's desire to consume an excess that plunges them into hell. According to him, humans blindly choose their own demise repeatedly, excusing it as free will and democracy. Despite his crazed ramblings, Gabby asks him to show her the root of his faith. That evening, Baron and Stefan prepare her for a ritual. After inhaling some powder, Gabby falls asleep and dreams about standing before a great tree. When she touches the tree, she feels its growth and life. She then dreams about a swamp, where Stefan and Baron emerge from. She then lies bare in the forest, and Stefan joins her. Her dream turns into a nightmare. Waking at the base of the great tree, Gabby senses the tree undulating from inside the trunk. She then sees strange visions of Baron and Stefan before she finally wakes up in the cabin. Baron asks her what her dream told her, and Gabby looks to Stefan. In the morning, Gabby wakes up again with Baron by her side. He reveals that he knows what her dream meant because it's what the god also told him the night before. Later, Gabby and Stefan are playing with wooden figurines when Gabby secretly whispers to him that they must leave. That night, Baron leaves to pray, allowing the two to escape. 
By sunrise, Gabby and Stefan are heading to the village but are stopped by Berend. He tries to convince his son to stay, but Gabby holds a knife to his throat, arguing that Stefan deserves freedom. Berend warns him that she will never let Stefan leave, saying that his mother would have died for nothing if he did. Finally, Stefan walks back to his father, so Gabby leaves the forest alone. The father and son prepare for a ritual before heading out. Gabby, who decided to return for Stefan, quietly watches them before heading to the cabin and retrieving Stefan's bow and arrow. Stefan asks his father what they'll be doing, and Baron simply answers that they'll offer a sacrifice. Gabby follows the men but is blocked by one of the creatures. She quietly hides behind a tree until it leaves. By the great tree, Baron declares that their god had chosen Stefan. He holds a knife behind his son, declaring his love for him before slicing him on the back. Gabby gets chased by the creature, but she shoots it with an arrow, and suddenly the force grows dark as Baron pins his own son to the ground. Baron holds an axe over his head just as Gabby arrives. However, Gabby gets entangled by the tree branches as it protects Baron. Gabby untangles herself from the tree and prevents Baron from being an adventurer as he took an arrow to the knee. Baron knocks her down and aims his axe at her, but Stefan frees himself in time to stop his father. A creature finds Gabby, but Stefan stabs the monster to protect her. Baron uses this chance to drag Gabby away and kill her. However, Stefan stabs him in the back before he can make the final blow. Baron excuses that it was all a test and he never meant to harm his son. The tree starts to rumble from the inside, so Gabby takes Stefan away and back to the cabin. In the cabin, Stefan is shocked by what he's done to his father. Gabby washes herself off from blood and Stefan holds her as she cries. Later, Gabby dreams about standing in a river with a root crawling up her leg. When she wakes up, she reads further into Baron's journal, where he notes the inevitable doom of humanity due to their unwillingness to change. Fungi start growing on Baron's back in the forest, and he offers his blood to the tree to save him. Baron writhes in pain in the forest as his infection grows. Soon, Gabby's body grows more of the fungi. She asks Stefan to leave her and join the world beyond the forest, but Stefan refuses to leave her, watching as her body becomes overwhelmed with the infection. Days later, Gabby only wishes to be released from her suffering. Now alone, Stefan bids Gabby's body goodbye and leaves. Days later, Stefan finally reaches the closest city, where he eats at a fast food restaurant. And when he leaves, his leftover food quickly grows fungi. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.